CCC infighting. Welshman Cube accuses Nelson Chamisa of dictatorial leadership. In a recent interview with Bulawayo based online news channel site, Welshman Cube, the acting president of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, didn't hold back on his criticism of former party leader Nelson Chamisa. Cube accused Chamisa of transforming the opposition party into a one man show before his resignation. Chamisa, who lost control of the MDC alliance to Douglas Mwanzora, unveiled the CCC in January 2022. However, the party quickly splintered into three factions, one led by Chamisa's loyalists, another by self-imposed interim secretary general Senjizo Chibangu, and a third that coalesced under the MDC 2019 structures, with Nkube emerging as its acting president. During the interview, Cube indirectly criticized Chamisa's leadership style, suggesting that it had created the crisis currently plaguing the opposition. He highlighted the breakdown of collective decision-making and the inability to address challenges as elected leaders. Due to suspended meetings and limited engagement platforms, Cube emphasized the importance of demonstrating opposition to the ruling ZANU-PF party's authoritarianism. He argued that the opposition should act democratically and transparently setting an example for a future government instead of replicating the autocratic tendencies they criticize. Regarding his own position, Cube explained that as the most senior of the three vice presidents elected at Guerra, he was tasked with assuming the role of acting president after Chamisa's resignation. The standing committee decided on a 90-day rotational basis for the acting presidency, with Tenai Biti and Lynette Karini Ikore also taking turns. Cube revealed that he last spoke to Chamisa two months ago, indicating a growing distance between them. He also distanced himself from Chibangu, refuting previous reports that he and Bidi were involved in a plot to wrest control of the party from Chamisa. Chamisa's next move remains unknown since his resignation, leaving some CCC legislators in a state of uncertainty. Some have chosen to remain in their positions, citing a lack of clarity regarding the party's direction moving forward. As CCC continues to grapple with internal conflicts and power struggles, the opposition landscape in Zimbabwe becomes increasingly fragmented. The outcome of this power struggle within the CCC could have far-reaching implications for the opposition's ability to mount a unified challenge against the ruling party in future elections.